Okay, so here's the last lesson for um, chapter 7 where we're doing trigonometry of right triangles. Um, hopefully by this point we remember um, what the three main trig ratios are. They're sine, cos, and tan. How we remember the ratios is by the acronym SOKATOA. So, Katoa. Okay, in this lesson, um, I'm going to show you how to solve problems involving right triangles. Okay, so we're going to do a little bit of application of these of these ratios. Okay. Um, also, hopefully, we remember how to label our triangles opposite, adjacent, and hypotenuse sides based on our reference angle. Um, hypotenuse is always across from the right angle. Opposite, always opposite. Go across from the reference angle. There's our opposite side. Adjacent, right beside our reference angle, right here. Okay. Hopefully we can label the triangle properly. Um, before we do an application question, let's just make sure we know um, how to solve a triangle. Okay, so solving a triangle means to find every piece of information that we're not given. So we need to find angle A. We don't know angle A. We need to find angle C. And we need to find side B. Okay, side B is the side across from angle B. Okay, so we need to find all of that. We don't know any of that information. So let's do it one step at a time. There's a couple of different ways to approach this. Um, I'll show you how I would approach it. Okay, make sure our calculator is ready. It's in it's in degree mode. Okay. So first thing I'm going to do, let's find angle A. That's the first thing I want to find. So I'm going to find angle A. If this is my reference angle, um, I know that um, my hypotenuse. I'm going to do this in a different color. So if this is my reference angle, my hypotenuse is across from the right angle. My opposite to this reference angle is over here. My adjacent side, right beside my reference angle, is right here. Okay. So if I want to find angle A, um, I can use, I'm given the opposite and I'm given the adjacent. So the, the ratio that has opposite and adjacent in it is tan. TOA, so tan of an angle, equals opposite over adjacent. So if I use the tan ratio, I know the tan of an angle equals opposite over adjacent, 8.5 over 13.2. So in order to find out this angle measure, I just use the inverse of tan. If you want to know why we do that, go back and watch the previous lesson on um, finding angles using trig ratios. So I do the inverse tan of this side ratio, and my calculator will then tell me what the angle measure is. So on my calculator, uh, just double check it's in degree mode, yep. So I just do the inverse of tan, and then do 8.5 divided by 13.2. So I'm telling my calculator what the side ratio is, what the opposite over adjacent side, what the, that ratio is, and then my calculator is going to tell me what the angle measure should be. It should be 32.8. 32 I'm going to round to the nearest hundredth here. So theta equals 32.8. Uh, instead of theta, I should have used angle A here. So tan of A, just because I'm going to be finding another angle as well, so I want to make sure I can distinguish between those. So tan of A equals that. Angle A equals 32.8. Okay, so now if I then want to find, I know one angle, I know my angle right there is 32.8, 32.8, I can then easily find angle C. Okay, let's do angle C in a different color. So angle C is equal to um, I know that all the angles in a triangle add to 180, so I know angle C is equal to 180 minus the other two angles that I know, minus 32.8, minus 90. Okay, if I put that in on my calculator, okay, I get, so I do 180 minus 90 which is 90, of course. So I could have just done 90 minus 32.8. And that gives me 57.2. So angle C is 57.2 degrees. 
Okay, so that's no longer a question mark. That's 57.2. 57.2. Okay, so I figured out angle A. Oops, I figured out angle A right here. There's my angle A. I have figured out angle C. All I have left to figure out is my side B. Okay, so I want to figure out side B. I'm going to do this one in green. So I need to figure out what B is equal to. Okay, there's a few different ways I could do this. I could use either of these as my reference angle. But since I've already labeled my triangle based on um, 32.8 being my reference angle, I'm going to use that as my reference angle. Okay, so if I use 32.8 as my reference angle, I could then use um, two different trig ratios to figure out B. I could use my adjacent side and the hypotenuse, which is I would use the cosine ratio. Or I also know the opposite side, so I could do the opposite and the hypotenuse to figure out um, B. Um, I'm going to use sine. Okay, so the sine of 32.8, sine of 32.8. I know the sine ratio is opposite over hypotenuse, 8.5 divided by hypotenuse, that's my B value. Oh, I should have done this in green. I'm going to do it in green just so, you know, I want it to look nice and organized here. I'll write it quick though, I promise. Okay, sine of 32.8, opposite over hypotenuse, 8.5 over B. Um, to get B by itself, I remember the shortcut, just switch B and sine 38. They switch places. B equals 8.5 over sine of 32.8. Put that in on my calculator and let's see what we get. So I'll just do 8.5, just put in exactly what you see, divided by sine of 32.8. And that equals 15.7. Once I round it, 15.7 and that's in centimeters. Okay, so I now know side B. I now know everything. This is 15.7. I have now figured out everything. I know all the pieces of information for this triangle, all three sides, all three angles. Okay, good. Let's do an